Hello, welcome to Tech Easy. Good morning to everyone. Today in this video, I'll tell you how you can change a Windows service automatically from manual. See, for example, I'm running a local host 8080 for Zira application, which is installed on this computer to run. But this is not running because the service what I have on this Zira application is manual. So I need to manually start that. What if you want to change a service from manual to automatic? You can do that on your Windows computer. On the search, just search as services. So, see, the system option, you will get the services option where you will find all the services which are installed on this computer. Those services are linked to some application on your uh, computer. So, the respective services are this one see here services local and some are manual and if you observe when i scroll down some will be automatic so yeah start type you, you can see see some are automatic some are manual automatic in the sense when i restart my computer when i shut down and when i open my computer with the os a reboot or OS start these services will be automatically get started but uh, some are manual so we need to externally run these services in order for them to start and work so for any service if you want to change this manual state to automatic select that particular uh, service and you can right click on this you can click on the properties here and see here start type is manually by default you can set it to automatic you can click on ok so from now on that particular service will be set to automatic and you can actually use this uh, option to sort for example if i click on this once all the automatic services will be at the top what you can do is you can click it again so that it will be all triggered to manual and now you can just check uh, with the services the list of services and find your required service and right click on it then click on properties then click on manual to automatic so in this way you can change the services from manual to automatic on windows i hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching have a nice day